Hey everyone, and welcome to a very special walk around. Today, we'll be looking at the 2022 CRF 450R. Okay, so it looks amazing and it has a ton of great features. But before we start, let's talk about how it came to be this way. In 2002, Honda developed the first generation CRF 450R, which was a huge success. And over time, it evolved into a true race bred championship winning machine that's capable of performing at the highest level. If you've ever ridden a motocross track or even seen professional racing, you know how demanding the sport really is. It's a combination between rough bumps, big jumps, and just about every type of corner you can imagine. Not to mention, the track conditions are ever-changing, where riders experience everything from hard-packed dirt to deep sand or mud. Why does all this matter? Well, this is a race bike, and with a sport that's so demanding, the manufacturers need to consistently test and improve their products to provide the best package possible. Honda has been producing championship winning motorcycles for many years, and this bike is the best version yet. It's lighter, faster, and more agile than the previous generation machine, while maintaining optimal stability to handle everything you can throw at it. Okay, let's get into it. We'll start with the exterior of the bike. Even on a performance machine like this, the first thing people notice is the way it looks. Right away, you'll notice the all red plastics, blacked out wheels, slim design, and single sided exhaust. The front shrouds are now a one-piece design, which improves airflow into the radiator and makes for easier removal to service the bike. The rear plastics have been redesigned as well, and by adding smaller side number plates as well as incorporating a slimmer overall design, the result is a 70mm reduction in width. This is huge for the rider because it makes the bike feel much more nimble and allows them to squeeze the bike better with their knees. The seat is also lighter and features a simpler mounting system to help with ease of removal and maintenance. The handlebar switch layout has been simplified as well, with electric start button on the right and the map switches on the left. Honda even rerouted the cables on the bars to improve simplicity and reduce weight. Alright, let's move on to engine and drivetrain. Now right away you'll notice the single muffler. This saves a total of 1.24 kilograms at the rear of the bike, which further centralizes mass and contributes to handling. The front exhaust port has been more centralized on the head of the engine and is now oval shaped, which increases power in the mid RPM range. Now the main goal for the engine department of this bike was not only to make more power, but better power. This was accomplished a few different ways. First, a new 60 degree injector angle allows for cooler air into the intake path of the motor. Basically, colder air is denser and denser air contains more oxygen. More oxygen means more power. This is also an effect of the larger airbox area that we discussed previously. All of these changes are primarily geared towards torque feel in the lower RPM range, which ultimately improves rider feel and the consistency of power delivery. The 2022 model has a brand new hydraulic clutch, which means a lighter lever pull for the rider. The clutch itself has an increased volume of 27% with the addition of a new clutch plate to improve durability, as well as a new friction spring, which will reduce clutch slip over the course of a race. Of course, the bike features three optional engine modes, Honda Selectable Torque Control and HRC Launch Control, all of which can be used by pressing the buttons on the left side of the handlebar. As for the chassis on this bike, the aim was to produce a package that was very controlled and precise for the rider, and this was achieved with a few important changes. In order to get the bike to be very responsive in the corners, the main frame spars were made slightly narrower, which resulted in 20% less lateral rigidity. With the already stiff frame, this change made the bike corner better while maintaining necessary stability. The rear subframe no longer has an upper brace, making it lighter, and the swing arm was made narrower, which aids in traction and corner turn and ability. In addition, the front end rake is reduced by two millimeters and combined with a slightly steeper swing arm angle, the bike gains eight millimeters of ground clearance and even more steering responsiveness. Okay, moving on to the suspension department. The bike features Honda's ProLink technology on the rear shock, as well as an ultra lightweight shock spring. Up front, Showa forks are used with an added five millimeters of stroke and stiffer triple clamps in order to make the bike feel very plush on harsh bumps, especially braking bumps before turning into a tight corner. The settings on both the shock and forks have been optimized for the new changes with ease of tunability in mind. A bike that handles well is great, but a bike that handles well and is easy to set up is always best and that's exactly what you'll get with this bike. 
So there you have it, the 2022 CRF450R, light, powerful, and ready to win championships. Be sure to check out honda.ca to get yours, and we'll see you at the start line.